the long forgotten time of 1993. When third dimensional graphics were simply thought as a fallacy in home console gaming. One company approached Argonaut Software in hopes of creating a third dimensional video game for their console and it was known as Star Fox. This game sucks. Eat my asshole. <laughs> this shit rules. I'm joking. I love this game. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm, I'm doing control scheme B, and we're going straight the game mode. And I'm doing the level one. We're going to go to the asteroids. We're going to go to the space. I actually Armada. don't think I've ever seen you play this one. Ah, I love you play 64. Star Fox 64 is my at most least, favorite game ever. At least 37 times. Probably, and that's honestly probably low. It's probably being generously <laughs> low. Good luck. In a row? In a row? 37? 37 Star Foxes in a row? My girlfriend played Star Fox 37 times in a row. <laughs> 37 R Wings. My girl girlfriend piloted 37 R Wings. 37? In a row? In a row? <laughs> oh, hey there, Chief. Kind of kind of side there a little bit when you're picking up that milk. Maybe you should be playing more Star Fox 64. Oh, I love this game. Actually, love's a little strong, but I really do enjoy the first Star Fox. I can also understand anyone born after... Uh, really, anyone born after 1985, I cannot blame them if they're just like... If they look at this and they're just like, no. <laughs> like, like today, I still love it. Although... Uh, and this is going to seem like a big old excuse Rooney, but I'm already noticing uh, some input lag, and it's definitely going to screw you can, me. You can lag, you can lag all you want, but it's not going to make up with the fact <laughs> that my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And look, if you had nothing but little brightly colored laser chips to throw around, like nobody's business. I'd get concerned too, because that's what my mom would say to me. She'd be like, "You got to get home at eight thirty sharp, all right? As soon as those lights come on, your ass is in the fucking house." And I'd be like, "Look, mom, you can't fucking, you can't do that. You cannot do that. I'm going out with the bike gang, with the boys, all right? We're bike, we're the bike gang, because we got, I got my huffy. What my the huffy fuck are you saying? <laughs> I got my huffy X Factor, all right? It was a lime green." bike and I put the I put the fucking the fucking the, the Pokemon card in the spoke so it'd go <laughs> real good. Okay? And we drive we drive well ride really. We'd ride down to the baseball field, right? But we wouldn't play baseball because that's we already played baseball. We were on the team. We were on the team. But it was after hours, right? This is this is just the boys. This is our club. This is our adventure club. So we ride the bikes down to the baseball field. And we got some firecrackers. But we're in like seventh grade. How the fuck did we get firecrackers? Don't ask. Don't worry about it. We get the firecrackers. We get a little coffee pot. This is when Folgers still came in tins. Now they're now they're plastic. Not not nearly as good. Not as effective. You get the coffee tin. The big old coffee tin of Folgers. You put the firework you firecrackers in the coffee tin, but then you close the lid. When you close the lid, then it goes bounces all over the place. But then you hear the you hear the sound of the police, you know, the whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the beast. You would hear it. But it wasn't for you. They're, they're not fuck. they don't give a fuck about kids. They're going, you know, pulling over somebody for drug paraphernalia that obviously has no, 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 no previous records. But they, you know, it's the, they, they're going to do what they want to do. Army of the, of the elite and the rich. The point being, Carson, is that if you had the power to change your fate, would you? Relish in that beautiful fucking explosion. That's nice. Those are big towers. <laughs> 
Go, 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 go. No fate, but what we make for ourselves. No sweat, Fratch. That's Terminator 2. No fate, but what we make for ourselves. Is that? Shut up, Edward Furlong. That's what Edward Furlong said? Shut up, Edward Furlong. And then Arnold was like, you must shave my back hair. It's because I have the real hair. Just like, you're a church boy. You're nothing but a church boy. Nothing but a choir boy. Look at that shit. We're in the cockpit. Cyberdyne Systems Organism 1075. But I have realistic back hair and you have to shave it every five weeks. Please, Edward Furlong. I mean, John Connor. Come on. Shave it up. Do it. Do it. Come on. Make sure you buy Gillette. Barbasol uh, makes me break out in hives. How are these cookies? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to terminate you. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I got some. I got some convo fodder for today. Some what? Convo fodder. Oh, convo fodder. What you think I said? Congo <laughs> fodder, and that's why I was like. I, I have no fucking clue where you're going there. You know the 1998, I want to say, uh, Michael Crichton vehicle, Congo? You know, I actually... With the smart monkeys? I, yeah, okay, so that is what I'm thinking of. <laughs> uh, They're apes, actually. That movie was before 1998... I think you're right. It might be And the like only reason that I know that and can say that is because I am fairly sure that Congo was one of the launch games on the fucking Saturn. Hell yeah. Evil monkeys. That is the only reason why I can fucking say that. Dracula, Dracula. Um... No. So, I watched a movie recently, and the only reason I watched it was because I had recently watched... It's an older episode, but I had recently watched a Red Letter Media review episode on this movie. Evergreen. And, huh? Those fucking sh That show, those episodes are fucking evergreen, dude. You sure about that? I, I mean, because I'm going to disagree. Really? Yes. Really? Okay. Yes. Wow. So I'm excited for this because I don't know if you've seen it. This is one of those movies that I, you know, it was actually advertised pretty well, at least for me, because I was, you know, very much of that MTV, MTV2 kind of generation, uh, jackass uh, kind of uh, segment specifically, skateboarding, all that shit. Um, but there's a review of the movie, Freddy Got Fingered. Uh, okay. 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 Have you seen the episode and the movie? Correct. Yes. Yes. You've seen both. Yes. Okay. What do you think of the movie? I'm going to be real with you. Yeah. I have seen that movie once. I saw it once. One time in college. Oh, so you saw it when it came out? No. Oh, well, no. No, because for me, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, for me, college was. It, it, it would have been middle school for me, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, I I did not. I was not into Tom Green. I did not know Tom Green like at all mm -hmm. until a friend showed me that movie because she talked about it forever. It was finally like, you know what? We're gonna fucking watch it tonight. And so we looked it up and we watched it. I've only seen it that one time. Yeah. I'd never watch that movie again. Yet, Stone Cold Sober, because this was before I drank and before I smoked, before I did anything. Yes. I won't say everything, but nearly everything in that movie has stuck with me. And I have never had a movie that I have watched. I don't even really like Freddy Got Fingered that much, but it is so fucking strange and so fucking offbeat and off the fucking wall sure. that it has just stuck with me for better and for much, much worse. Gotcha. It stuck with me. Gotcha. And I feel like there's something to that. I think Tom Green is 
a fucking washed up has been never was in my opinion i really don't think that guy is funny i think he's extremely annoying and he's extremely hateable in that movie but everything surrounding him is really funny yeah that's where i land on freddy got fingered i i i have never had any desire to go back and watch it yeah there's been a couple clips that i've maybe looked up on youtube or just sort of seen in passing like people posting them on twitter or whatever yeah but like outside of that never had any desire to go back and watch it likely never will but there's still parts of it that are fucking funny I mean, Rip Torn is just so fucking mad in that Rip, whole movie. Rip Torn He's so fucking funny. Is it, w- I would argue that he is the best part of the movie. Easily. Uh, and it's mostly just because he's angry. Yeah. Yes. It's, what are you what doing in my scuba yeah. gear? Yeah. <laughs> or like the whole, the fucking... You make your dad proud? I'm gonna make proud. you proud, dad. Proud. You make me proud. <laughs> <laughs> Make your old man proud. <laughs> Make him proud. Proud. Freddie, I don't proud. I don't I don't see a LeBaron with your name on Do you it. See, I don't see another LeBaron. I, there's Freddy. not two LeBarons here, Freddie. Get the fuck out of the way! <laughs> um Gord. So, Mike. Right? Yes. Mike loves the movie. <laughs> yeah. Um Fuck! I, I why can I not think of the Jay? Idea? Jay, uh, Jay appreciates what it does, but his whole argument in the review episode is, I I I get the whole like, it's it's an anti movie for the Hollywood system because it's essentially like, oh yeah, Tom Green was popular in Road Trip, so we should give him money to make a movie because the Tom Green show is doing well for MTV. And then this small bit he played in this movie made him like a fucking overnight sensation. So let's let him do a whole movie. And Tom's like, why the fuck would you give me money to do this? And he even kind of like jokes about it at the end of the movie where he gets a million dollars and he just wastes it to play a huge fucking elaborate prank on his dad to send him to fucking uh, Africa, isn't it? Or something uh, like that. Um, Fuck. He says it in the movie because he says the joke. He's like. If you were here, you'd be sewing soccer balls for a li- by now or whatever, or since when you were like nine years old. So he takes them there. I don't remember like the Saudi exact Arabia name or something. Um, yes. So, yeah, Jay's whole thing is, I get that. I don't think it's funny. I I don't think he's doing what we think he's doing. I think it's kind of accidental, and you're giving him way too much credit for being a genius because i do think he is like just shitting on the system i agree with that but i i don't think it's as clever as as you think i think it's purely serendipitous that this is jay talking to mike yeah that you think it's it's this uh like higher level bit or whatever and i'm i more agree with jay Oh, after, after have watching this. Oh, absolutely, um, absolutely. I didn't, I didn't laugh because I, I knew all the stuff. Like I, I know the daddy. Would you like some sausage? Uh, the fucking the kid that gets brutally, yes, uncomfortably injured, and then they just straight up kill him. But because they didn't want the NC seventeen rating, they just put in that fucking voiceover. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, so like that was honestly kind of funny too because it was like Jesus fucking Christ, like it's uncomfortable how well that oh kid extremely acts. Uh, extremely and I do think it's interesting because Jay mentioned that he's like yeah I saw this movie in the theaters and when the kid got hurt and he pops up and his face is all messed up and teeth are missing and everything it's like that's the moment the audience when he was watching in the movies like that's the moment the audience turned on the movie oh and that, like, i would get yes absolutely yeah and like i am not surprised by that at all the one that i i i mean if i watched it now probably wouldn't but the one that i thought that was really disturbing when i watched it the first time was or at least just like made me really really uncomfortable is when he fucking finds the deer Yes, and just puts it on. Yes, like that's that was something about that really made me uncomfortable. That and 
the horse and I guess the elephant by extension, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. It's True. just like God, like there's a lot in that movie that I'm just like this this is just not like funny or this is just like like I've never vibed with the 90s gross out humor, right? Like that was never me. I never found that kind of stuff funny and I still sure. don't find that funny. Sure. But like some of the more weird and abstract stuff that's in there, that's what I I tend to kind of I don't even know if abstract is the right word. Just like <sighs> I don't know. The stuff with like the kid is funny in like a weird, like uncomfortable kind of way. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 funny because it, like it it completely subverts the expectation of uh, that that type of role in that kind of movie, especially where, where for that like, time. Yeah, he's like the little sidekick kid that's yeah. like interested in the man child adult next door guy who's like but he's cool because he's like a skateboarder he's like oh hey tommy you want to come skate sometime and then like fucking uh arlen williams is there too and he fucking breaks his leg because he tries to skateboard with dr fucking dress shoes on uh which then tom green uh proceeds to lick his open wound uh and then like the whole the whole Freddy actually getting fingered thing. That's the really that, that is the whole thing where I'm just like, what? How did that happen? Right. Like, I, how did that? Like, it, it's 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 the name. Yeah. It's the name. It's literally right there. And I never I never knew that as a, like when, when I it didn't first either. Came out, I just thought it was just a, a ha ha funny title. Like oh yeah, Freddy got fingered. That's like it's like a, a metaphor for getting. No, fucked, before right? I saw the movie, not even that. I had always just assumed because you know, like, like, like that's a legal term, right? Like you get fingered for the crime. That means that someone points out that you did the crime. Or oh, I didn't. I didn't even think about you, that. You know I what? I, really you know. You know what I mean with that, right? I like with, like when the, there's evidence against you or whatever. Like yes. Yes. that's what I thought it was because it just seemed crazy to me the idea that oh yeah no uh you know the actual act mm -hmm. like right. it, it, it's not going to be that but that's what everyone jokes about or whatever you know like no no it actually is that it actually is that yeah. like blatantly yeah this isn't like summer of 69 with brian adams where oh yeah no that's that's what it is you know after the fact like no Straight up, hundred percent. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> like, holy and it, well, shit! And it feels like. But I guess to be fair, the, the, the whole movie is a half baked idea. But again, by design. And I can't stress enough that, like, even if it is, there's a way to do an anti Hollywood movie, well. And I'm I'm struggling to like provide a good example off the top of my head right now, but that's that's just not it. Um, because it's not even it's not even like it's not even like the room where the room is so bad that it's you you can't help but be in, entertained and enthralled by. Well, that's that's completely. It different. is different. I get it. I get it. But like, I didn't laugh once through Freddy Got Fingered. Like nothing was. In, in the setting of the actual movie and the plot, I found none of it even, like, a little, like, chuckle-worthy chuckle, chuckle -worthy funny. Like, all the clips on their own, like, with no context, are funnier than they are in the movie. Well, because the problem with the movie, too, is that there are some scenes in it that are just not even in the sense of, like, good taste or anything like that. They're just not funny. Correct. The yeah, entire I mean. yeah. scene in the hospital is just not funny. No, not a single it part goes of it is entertaining. So long. Yeah, and it then there's like never that weird stop. There's the weird cut to where it's like trying. It's like kind of sentimental when he delivers the baby. He's like, "I'm the hero. I save the day. I save the day. I'm I, I, I'm the hero." And that's it. Uh, it's, yeah, and even then, like, even if you have the context of like. Oh, this is an anti-Hollywood movie. This is supposed to be making fun of the sentimentality stuff. Yeah. Okay, well, you can say that, and maybe it is, 
But that doesn't mean the joke is successful. No, correct. Like, at all. Correct. It's not. Like, it's not a funny joke. It, even if that is the bit, even if that is the intention, it's not coming across. No. No, it, not It's... Yeah, no. Like, that's the biggest flaw, I think, with Freddy Got Fingered. And part of why I've never wanted to go back and watch it. Because, yes, there is a lot of stuff that's stuck with me. But the biggest takeaway I had is that there is a lot of it that just is not funny and doesn't sure. work. And part of it, too, is that I won't give Tom Green any credit of thinking... Like, I can't call it an anti-Hollywood movie, at least by design. Like, I don't believe for a second that that guy is that clever. Like, his entire shtick was basically just doing man on the street, fucking with people, or like early Eric Andre, essentially. Only Eric Andre did it True. way, way better. You know, like, he had his talk show where he would do random shit, falling yes. through walls, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like... God, like, uh, w one one big example for me, one big tell, is the fact that the movie starts the first like ten fucking minutes is him just skateboarding, which is yeah, it's that's just it's literally him skateboarding just through because a he mall. Wanted to skateboard, yeah. Because he's, I mean, he is good at skateboarding, so it's like, whatever. I but. guess, but like, okay. Yeah. This is like. Because Hollywood gave him money. I know. That's, what, that, like like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it's 100% just like, like, I won't call it, I won't go as far as to call it like a vanity project, right? Because that would be, I. That would have been like, yeah, painting himself in like a, a larger than life light or something, or like not, finding not a way. Even to that, I feel like this was not something that he initi initiated. No, absolutely, he didn't. He didn't. and that's that's why it's not a vanity project because like that part might have been vanity, but at the same time, like he wasn't the one that was saying, "I'm Tom Green, I'm hot shit. Give uh, give me money to make a movie." This was, you're Tom Green, you're hot shit, here's the money to make a movie, and him going, okay. Right. But at the same time, you, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, there's just so many parts of it that just aren't funny, or I don't find entertaining, or what have you. Like, it's, yeah. I don't know, I just, it, it's a mixed bag. I am still curious, though, why you don't think Review is evergreen. Oh, because I think I, I I I just disagree with Mike's opinion. That doesn't make it not evergreen, though. I mean, <laughs> like no, I, I like I, I mean, you can you still mean. go back and watch like all those reviews, and they're still enjoyable. That's all I meant. Oh yeah yeah. Um, I thought you meant like their their opinion in in one frame. No line. no no. I Got I feel it. like there's a lot of YouTube stuff that it I can look back on, on that I used it. to watch. And it's not even, like, the content per se, like, oh, I don't agree with this, or, oh, like, it, it's literally just, like, oh, like, I don't find this funny or entertaining or, like, we've moved so far past. Like, I think one good example. I see what you mean. I, yeah. I get you now. Like, I, like, okay, when I was younger, I used to be able to watch Nostalgia Critic and, like, could never could never do that now i would never love ever could i do that now to meet the carson that watched it because i'm gonna be real with you i've never uh i've never understood the fandom of that guy he's still going and like good for him like i don't know how but... well yeah now there's been a lot of stuff that's come out and it's like uh i, I oof, you are a kind of a shit person brud but uh beyond that even it, and it wasn't that I was super devoted to him. It was just like there were a lot of bits and sometimes like movies that he would talk about. Like I really liked when he would talk about old Stephen King trash uh, because I did not realize uh, until I watched his stuff how many Stephen King like adaptations that there are that were literally just made for TV movies and how every single one of them yeah, of is them, yeah. fucking terrible. Include Dude. It is the only one that's actually good. All the rest of them, like Langoliers, Tommyknockers, holy shit, those are so bad. Those are so fucking bad. That's an opinion. Have you seen those films? <laughs> um, I know of Langoliers. I've never seen it, but I know it's like the it's a uh, 
uh, visual uh, effects nightmare. Oh, it's 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 incredible, like absolutely incredible. Well, I'm trying to think of the other uh, Stephen King. Uh, there's the, that's the thing. There's more than you realize. There's a lot. No, I know there's, and a that's lot. part of why there's so shit. Well, and like Shawshank's a movie, though. That's not a. a, a yeah, I, I I am talking strictly TV, like made for TV. Okay, like not I'm not talking like movies, okay. just just okay. the made for TV ones. Because there was actually a made for TV uh, version of The Shining that's more in tune with the book. I'm pretty sure Stephen King directed that one himself. Oh, because he was so mad at uh, Kubrick. Yeah, and it's like not good. It's something. It's something. It's like. I'll put it to you like this. You see it, and you instantly realize why Kubrick made the changes that he made. Like, the kid is psychic from the jump. Like, it's not like a mystery or what. Like, the parents fucking know. Yeah. To the point where, like, when the dad gets the hotel, the kid's, like, sitting at the kitchen, and the mom goes, like, so did he get it? And the kid goes, like... Does something to do like a touches quick reading, head. like like does touches little, his head or does like something. Professor to Xavier, mm, yeah, basically, yeah, and he's just like, yeah, he got it, like all right, like it, there's no question of it at all. He did just get hit with the razor scooter. The what? <laughs> yeah, that's my power. I have the shinning. The no, you have the shine. No, no, no. I can only know. I I know when people get hit in the shins with a razor scooter. The shinning. There's there's a wrestler I follow. They give me father for I have shinned. <laughs> Here are the top ten shinners of 2024. <laughs> God damn it, Jesus! Uh, there's a wrestler. No, there's a wrestler I follow. Uh, their name's Kid Bandit, and uh, they they have been out for a while, uh, focusing on themselves. They're they're trans, and uh, they're about to start coming back. And they've been kind of like posting like little clips and photos and shit of like stuff they were doing before they had to take time off for themselves. And one of them was like, this is the meanest shit I've ever done. And it was them in a hardcore match where they literally had a razor scooter that they were like holding and it kicked into oh, someone's shit. Oh my God. I was like, oh Lord. I... So that video I started showing you and you couldn't do it, but the oh no I can't those the are fucking, so the fucking awful. merry-go-round is so brutal. Uh, the uh. one before this though, because this is like just a viral uh, short video, but the one that really got me was fucking because you know that pain like yes. every every kid knows the pain. Of, it, yes, it's a very distinct pain. That's the thing, and it's it's not it, it can be anything. It could be not just a razor scooter, but like. You're, you're just like fucking running and you take a corner too tightly and you just hit the Shit. fucking you're in like an unfinished basement and you hit one of the like support beams in the basement with your shins like a shin to any blunt object but more most specifically metal is just a, a, a fucking you know when you hit your funny bone and like your whole body has that like like you've been electrocuted basically that's yeah. exactly what happens when you get shinned real good um Oh my god, that's when Freddy got fingered too. I forgot about that. His his uh, paraplegic girlfriend. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna move on from that. But uh, in the uh, the newest Jackass movie, I think Jackass Four, right? Yeah. Jackass Forever, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, it's probably called Forever. That's what every fucking fourth entry is called, it seems like. There's a bit. Which you would think people would stop doing after Duke Nukem, but I digress. There's a bit where uh, the whole the whole uh, shtick is kind of like a contest where like things happen to them. And if you scream, you're out or whatever. So it's all it's just like pain uh, thresholds. Yeah. And the one that's the absolute worst, they rigged up a custom guillotine, and it's just a skateboard deck, and it falls directly on their shit. <laughs> oh, I remember that one, yeah. <laughs> and they do it to Steve-O, and he, like, he he takes it, but then he, like, for a second, he just goes, ah! And then they're like, no, you're out, that counts. He's like, no! <laughs> Fuck, man. 
Because that's another that's another specific shit kind of pain is skateboard to the shin. See that one I've never experienced. So and I'm not a skateboarder, but I've I've been on a board. I have my own now, but like when we were in what seventh eighth grade, uh, fuck. A couple of my buddies had had skateboards. God damn it! I couldn't get one because like fucking my. Parents were like, you just keep working. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna my, be able to. Put yeah, my fucking parents anymore. had the exact same shit. I'm like, fuck off. Yeah. I. You know what I do? I fucking, I I jump off of the fucking bridge, uh, over the over the fucking cemetery creek, just just to see how far I can jump. That's just as dangerous. <laughs> anyway. No, for me, it's just like, okay, don't do this thing outside. Don't do this thing outside. Don't do this thing outside. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, I'm a grown ass adult. That doesn't like to go outside. Like, that worked out well. True. Yeah, good point. Uh, but yeah, I had some friends that had a had skateboards, so I would every now and then jump on them if they were chill enough. But some, and I totally, I get it now. As a kid, you're like, what the fuck, dude? Let me just ride your board for a second. And be like, fuck no. Um, but yeah, I've I've had some some skateboard shinners. See, in, in our area, there were, there were no, like, skate parks or anything like that, but the uh, hatred of skateboards was very, very prevalent. So oh, like, just the parents? Oh, yeah. Like, everyone's parents fucking hated it. Like, I I knew a couple kids that skateboarded, but I didn't, like, I only knew I them. I forget you're from small, yeah. small town Illinois. Yes. And so, like, for me... Uh, the only kids that I knew that skateboarded, like, I went to school with them, but I didn't see them outside of school. Mm -hmm. At, like, the very rare time that I, I would, and they would be skating, there was never, like, a thing where, well, one, I never wanted to jump on the board because I knew that I was very uncoordinated and, you know, I didn't want to hurt myself. But outside of that, there was never, like, a you can't be on my skateboard kind of thing. It was more like, cool you're like talking to me about my skateboard and not screaming at me about how it's gonna fuck something up because you're some like random old person that wants to get uppity because you see a kid on a skateboard you know what i mean like there yeah. was so little of like any kind of positive reinforcement with it that any th where it was just like hey yeah cool you got a skateboard all right like y you know what i mean like that's that's just how it was where i grew up I did. Uh, I was able to finally get a uh, a penny board. Penny board. Uh, it's just a smaller skateboard. So there's like like a fucking tech deck. No, that's a fingerboard. <laughs> uh, which I did actually. I'm I'm not even gonna lie to you. Fuck. I, oh, I just bought a uh, an eight pack on Amazon the other day. Hell yeah, you did. Uh, and I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. These things are sick as fuck. Um, because I actually I wanted something. I hate to really even call it a fidget toy, but like I just wanted something to just like fuck around with at work when I am in the office for the two days God, a week. God damn it! Yeah. So, so I just got a I got a fingerboard so I can just do some fucking flip tricks while I'm just like sitting there twiddling my thumbs. <laughs> um. But no, so a penny board's like um. I think originally they were almost all exclusively like fishtail boards. Like, I don't know if you've seen, like, older skateboard models are, are what you call fishtails. Um, they still make fishtails. And then there's also, like, wider uh, fishtails. They have a different name. I can't remember it off the top of my head, though. Uh, like, Lester Kasai and uh, Rodney Mullen, like, their early stuff is all on more, like, fishboard-type decks. Um, and then they eventually, I guess, maybe just for uh, usability and to be able to, like, ride on both sides and ride switch a little bit better they they realized hey we should probably make the board you know a, a shape that's unilateral all the way around so you can ride it either way no problem um but yeah penny boards like it's the same thing it's functional like a skateboard uh and you can you can still ride it for like uh adult can ride it. it's just really small it's only like uh i don't know what you would call that maybe like Even two feet seems like too big. It's probably like 18 to 20 inches long. Like, not not super big. Big enough where both feet could be on it, though. Yeah. Okay, uh, I think I know what you're talking about now. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
I honestly just thought those were like skateboards for kids. I did not realize. Yeah, yeah, just they were mini called, skateboards, like, penny, penny boards. You, you, they're, they're, everything's got like twenty names or whatever. You know what I have been on, uh, and kind of liked. Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna fuck up the name, but the wave board. Do you know what I'm talking about? The like really long, like almost surfboard like skateboards. Yeah, yeah, longboards. Yeah, there's, longboard. There's, there's, there's... I I thought they were called like wakeboards or something. Uh, wakeboard is is a type. Wakeboard's of... like a surfboard though, isn't it? Well, wakeboard's like a, a, a basically just a, a snowboard for water for wakes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, the longboard, longboard though. That's. I have been on the because I knew a couple people that had them in college. Dude, and that was like the, are fun too. I have, that was like I the one them. thing that because they're so big that I could halfway actually stand on and ride a little bit. Mm-hmm. And yeah. for a very brief minute, I was like, maybe I'll get me one of these. And then it was kind of like uh, the balance I'll, distribution I'll, is this different. I'll for never sure. use it. They're fun, man. Um, yeah, I have God one. Fucking damn it, these fucking missiles. JT's got one that actually looks more like a surfboard. It's that shape, that kind of motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I never have this much trouble at this boss. This is fucking embarrassing. (laughs) But yeah, there's different. There's 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 a shit ton of different shapes of of longboards, which I don't get completely. But at the same time, it's like that's chill. I mean, there's a shit ton of different shapes of like bikes. There's so many fucking bikes. Yeah. Like there's step throughs. There's folding bikes. There's your your road bikes. Your uh, you know. Single speed, multi speed, like uh, there's there's so many fucking bikes, um, and then there's also so many types of like guitars. You know, I'm just I'm just talking about stuff that I like, but you know, um, so yeah, that shit's. Uh, God, I, I've talked about this many times when we were doing live streaming, so now I'm gonna reiterate it for the YouTube audience. But like, for for not being a skateboarder, I just fucking love skateboard shit culture culture everything about today i actually i was um i was just uh doing some house cleaning uh it's so funny my so my wife's on a uh a girl's trip with her mother and two sister-in-laws this weekend so it's me and the me and the dog and the first thing i do is just start cleaning because i'm like i'm gonna clean baby this is what I'm doing with my time. Oh off. my god, I fucking knew it. God damn it, I'm so mad at myself. What you, what's what's going on? So I've been I've been doing this really stupidly. I thought you could shoot these missiles and sometimes get uh, your shield back, and you absolutely can. And I have not been doing that. I've instead just been fucking taking them on the chin because this guy's kind of annoying. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, today I was cleaning and I put on uh, a skate video. It was uh, Rodney Mullen versus Daywon Song, Part Two. Uh, I've never seen Part One, but Part Two it was just in my recommendeds. And I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna watch this. I I fucking love skate videos because they're just they're amazing to just put on and have on kind of in the background. Uh, purely because they're just like. They're fucking mixtapes, and the 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 range of of music genre is so fucking wide. Like this one, this one had um fucking uh, immigrant song by by Zeppelin, and immediately after that, fucking Who's Watching Me by Rockwell. Uh, yeah, which was so funny in a skate video to see that. I'm like, what the fuck? And then like. I feel like I feel like that'd be the perfect song to play and have like a bunch of bits where like you're getting ran off by cops or something. It might have been. It might. I, I didn't actually watch the foot. I was just listening to it. So you might be right. Um, and then like you know, kind of your standard hitters. There was like a rage song in there. There was like I think a, re- a, a replacement song. Holy fuck it, dang. Some other like you know, a lot of. There's always like you know some punk rock. There's some um, uh, some fucking hip hop shit. Uh, I think it's a Don Davis song because it sounded like it was it was uh, from the Matrix, that Club to Death song. I think I, it was that. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it was either that or the Chemical Brothers, but I think they're both on the Matrix soundtrack. 
But yeah, that was like the intro of the of the the video. I'm like, all right, I'm in it. But yeah, man, if you ever just want just a good like, because it's it's fun too, because it also has like a little bit of like <laughs> pre ASMR ASMR. But like, I lo- I just I love the sound of like wheels on fucking uh, pavement, man. The sound of skateboards is just really appealing to me. Are you already at Andros? Yeah, I would have been here a lot sooner, but I got fucking stuck on that boss like an idiot. Nice. That's entirely on me, playing like a fool. Oh, he's sucking you, sucking you dry, dude. So, does he shoot the things from his eyes and then sucks them back in and spits them out again? Yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah, you know, you do what you, you, you do what you can to get by. Yeah, you know, you crying, Shit. crying tears of uh, of squares, I'm tears playing, of polygon squares. God, I'm playing so terribly, and I know, I know how stereotypical it is, but like there is literally about a half a second of lag, and it is enough to fuck me up. And then it fuck me up. There it is. No. So let the fine people at home know what's going on. I got a new capture card from our good fucking friends at Elgato. And uh, it came in today, and it's defective. But unfortunately, that's all we have to work with. So (sighs) it's going to make me do all of Venom again. I really don't want to do all of Venom again. And I really don't want to end this not doing it. But I also don't want to hack up this episode, so whatever. Here God he goes, dude. Damn it! At don't least it's not making me do the space part. That's not as bad. Spice, because it makes you do space above before it has you go down. So at least I got that going for me. Anyway, we got this new uh, capture card here. It's an HD 60x. First time I've plugged it in, and the goddamn pass through doesn't work. So we are using this directly off of OBS, which means there is a good quarter to half second delay, which in a lot of games you won't notice. But if you've been playing something for 25 fucking years, you kind of start to notice it a little bit. And it's just enough in this stupid game to actually make a bit of a difference. I'm not going to sit here and pretend it's the only reason why. I'm just kind of playing like dog shit, unfortunately. But once again, I've been kind enough to give Elgato my money, and they've just kicked me in the fucking balls. So thank you for bogarting the goddamn capture card market and making it significantly worse. Any fucking way. Now that I get to redo this shit again. I'm sorry, I'm fucking heated that I bought this fucking thing with my own goddamn money. And it doesn't work. Just retired, it's the then. second fucking product of theirs, if not third product of theirs that I have used, that this shit happens. Despite the fact that everyone that I talk to, that's all they recommend is Elgato because there's no other option for some reason. It just drives me insane. This company sucks. Defective, shitty products. And now I'm just playing like ass. <sighs> And I'm he fucking hot. Is upset. I am annoyed. I'm thoroughly annoyed. He's hysterical. I'm not hysterical. You'll he know when wet. I'm hysterical. I am wet though because I'm sweating. So it's uh, this is just gonna turn to more of a bitch fest than it already is. I'm just gonna cut it off now. Hey, but like fuck. Head him off at the pass, dude. Head him off at the pass. <laughs> I hate that cliche. Thank you. I'm glad you picked that up. <laughs> Has anybody got a dime? Oh, we gotta get back and get a shit ton of dimes. <laughs> That's one of my favorite visual gags. Is just all of them fucking going through one at a time. <laughs> the fucking toll booth. That's so fucking good, man. What in the wide, wide world of sports is happening here? <laughs> Oh, fuck. God, that's gold. Oh, another review I watched today. Uh, because, again, it's just it's boys weekend, man. It's just me. Just me and, well, my dog's a girl, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, weekend for the boys and a dog. 
Boys uh, and Dogs Weekend. I watched fucking uh, their review of Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Macaulay Culkin was on it. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I guess he's like friends with them now. They do a lot. Oh, yeah. They, well, this is an older episode. I think this was like last year is when they did it. Because it was right around the time. Uh, well, shit, it might be older than that because. Uh, no, it was last year. They did. Is that when Paul Rubens died? Was last year? Because they released it right around the time he passed. Yeah, away. I think so. Okay. So, yeah, they did. Uh, they did the a review of uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and like, I don't know, I don't know about you, but like, that was that was just an all time fucking movie for me as a kid. You know what? I never watched it as a kid. Fuck me running yeah uh it wasn't even the large march part just something about it scared me it's it's scary just just in general i totally and i think that's another thing and they kind of touched on it in the episode that you you wouldn't see this in a modern movie that's aimed for kids and this movie is kind of interesting because it it more or less was the bridge to you had the Broadway show the the Broadway Pee Wee show which was kind of a, a live action parody of Saturday morning cartoon kind of shticks uh, but it was very it was, it was much more adult there was a lot of uh, a lot more obvious tongue in cheek humor um, they, they even brought up this one visual gag where like Pee-wee's got a mirror on his shoe so he can look up uh, girl's skirts and see their underwear. And then this one, and then he does it to this one girl, and she's like, "Haha, jokes on you! I'm not wearing underwear." And that grosses him out. He doesn't want to see the, <laughs> he doesn't want to see the thing. He just wants to see the underwear, and you know, that's that's haha, that's funny to me because I'm a kid. You know, I'm like a, I'm, right. I'm, I'm a man child. Um, and then you have this movie that still has that kind of mentality but it it's definitely kind of a kids movie like it's just it's just fun and there's 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 wholesome humor in it um but then there are very like left field non sequitur dream things which are actually like i shouldn't say completely non sequitur like they they do tie in and they're they are referenced in the real world as well um, and all the, all the, like, everything has a setup other than the boomerang bow tie and Amazing Larry, which are famously talked about at length in, like, these, these, uh, uh, because they're deleted scenes, basically. Um, but as a kid, I never fucking questioned Amazing Larry. I just love, he's just that guy, that Pee Wee fucking, <laughs> just calls out in the, in the fucking meeting. Have something to say, Amazing Larry? And he just looks at him. He just says no line of dialogue because his fucking scene was cut. Um, and then, and but yeah, so that was the bridge. And then you have the Pee Wee's Playhouse show, which was definitely a kid's show. Yeah. I know you're like really focused. I'm trying to take the less in the heat from you. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. It's okay. Like I, it's okay. It, it's not even the latency at this point that I can blame. It's it's latency. just fucking. I'm just playing like Duke. I mean, hey, look, every time then you gotta have a little Duke, you know. Sometimes it's a big Duke. I like this game a lot, but I do not know it nearly as well as I do Star Fox 64. And I feel like, unlike Star Fox 64, if I stumble in that game, I can recover. But I feel like. Once I start stumbling in this one, it's usually pretty downhill. You feel like you kind of like, you, yeah, you get locked and it's like, well, I'm yeah, fucking, uh, yeah. And I mean, I'm like, if I wasn't so fucking close to the end, I I would probably bail. Sure, but literally right there, just I it, like shit's just not working for me. Like bombs aren't hitting Andros for some reason. This guy's not wanting to like take damage when I'm hitting him at the top and he keeps clipping me with his fucking missiles and shit. You know, maybe that should be our angle for our for our let's plays is like we we get all the way to the end but we never complete the final boss. So like we're edging video games basically. <laughs> we never we never complete. 
<laughs> I don't know. There's there's a thin line between it being like edging video games and then never being able to reach the climax. You know what I mean? I see what you mean. Yeah. I see what you mean. You got you got to walk that fine line, baby. You got to walk that fine fine ass line. Yeah, dude. Six hundred tabs open on OBS at once. <laughs> <laughs> Positivity force. Positivity force, baby. It's the it's the Star Fox branch, the positivity force. Positivity force. Heard you got a, a fever of 106. You haven't been able to shake for six months. Makes dating really hard. Yeah, you know. Uh... March Simpson, you hit that. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> and Lois. And Lois Griffin. It's the, it's the trap remix of the <laughs> Simpsons theme that just kills me in that video. Oh god, positivity force. That's that's one of yeah. You know, we're like of, you guys, that's one except of the for videos of all time. You know, we, we're like you guys, except for handing out bullets. We uh, we hand out hugs. You know, hand hugs. out positive vibes. Have you watched this stand up bit uh, special yet? I think it's on YouTube or it's Netflix. It's one of the two. No, um, I didn't know he had one. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to put that on tonight. I've seen some fucking just some like short clips from it, and there's this one where he's like, he's he's going into the, like this deep conspiracy of like, they just they listen they listen to everything you're saying, right? They and that's that's how they're tracking us. Like they have all the cameras fo are, are following us and all this stuff. And you know why they're doing that? They're doing that to buy data on us to sell it to advertisers so that your shopping experience is so good. My son, I'm so jealous of yeah, him. Okay, His I shopping have seen experience is going to be yeah. so customized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to get shit shipped to him cuz that's how fucking much they know. <laughs> um there's that one. There's like this one scene where uh, he's talking to some guy in the audience, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do this weekend?" And he's like, "I don't know, probably grill a burger." And he comes over, and he's like, "My man," and he just like he just like holds him for like twenty <laughs> fucking minutes. He's like, "Having a burger and a beer, watching the football game," <laughs> <laughs> and then he just holds him. He he, he just fucking holds him. He like eye locks him. He's like, "Look at me, look at me, look look at me. Don't let go. Look at me." Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it. He's like so uncomfortable. It's fucking amazing. All right, here we go. Just have to not fuck this up. I kill him and it's fucking over. This goddamn video should have been over 20 minutes ago. That fucking Colin O'Malley, I think his name is. Yeah, Connor O'Malley. Connor O'Malley. The, the first thing I saw him in was actually uh, that Joe Para bit. Where it's him making the perfect egg bite. Oh yeah, at the restaurant. Yeah, the perfect egg bite. No, nope. fucked I, it up. I really needed this. Really needed. God this. damn it! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I need a win today. <laughs> and like, so later in that show, he like goes through a like violent divorce with that woman. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, the Joe Paris show was so genius. Joe Pear is a fucking genius. I got, I love that man. I saw him live at the pageant. It was incredible. And he kind of broke character, and it was amazing. There we go. He's a box! Shoot the box! Now he's just a box. He's a fucking rhomboid. He's a fucking square. He's a, pro, he's a profile picture. Fucking get him. Get, get out of here, you Oh, God damn it. Are you ass. kidding me? Oh, no. He came back to life. He's got a face again. He's got a face. Yeah, and now no he's bombs. sucking you in. Sucking you into his mouth hole. He's gonna spit out the bits of his mouth. Are they teeth? Or are they cheek skin? You know when you eat sour candy and the sides of your cheeks Fuck. start to shed. That's what I'm talking about, citric acid. Have you seen uh isn't made for human consumption? Have, what? <laughs> you, you you mentioned the sour candy. Have you ever seen the episode of The Simpsons where they go to the the fucking candy convention? I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because is that where uh, Homer uh, accidentally touches the babysitter's butt? Yeah, he doesn't actually touch her butt. Yeah, he, he grabs the gummy. He, uh, he grabs the gummy, and she sees him making you know his 
yes. face oh. and thinks that he's yeah, yeah, yeah. hitting on her. Yeah, that, so the beginning of that episode is the them at the candy cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the reason I bring it up is because, uh, finally, damn, I don't know why this caused me so much issue. But anyway, uh, yeah, the beginning of that episode, they're at the candy convention, and you have the... I always forget his name. The fucking uh, nerdy scientist guy. Uh, like I created the yeah, most. Yeah, Professor Fink. Yeah, I think it's Fink or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I've created the most sour candy in the entire world. <laughs> yeah, it has yeah. to be contained in the stasis field. Good lord, where's the sour lemon drop? And it cuts to Homer, and his entire like mouth is completely <laughs> sucked in, like to the point where his lower jaw is just missing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just I love the way that it's drawn. Just oh my his God. lips and everything. His entire lower jaw all just in. all sucked. Just fucking <laughs> it. It's so good. Oh yeah, we're missing them actually talking, but who gives a fuck? That's fine. I'm gonna put lo-fi beats over this anyway. <laughs> Stage one, 91, 86, 83, 84. A hundred. A hundred per time. A hundred. Eighty-three. Eighty-three. These look like my grades in middle school. You know what the hundred was in? <laughs> Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, my grades were not that high. Bubba. Bubba. When I was in high school, uh, one of the things that seniors could take and would, uh, because it was a way to get the fuck out of school, was uh, I'm actually blanking on the exact service learning. It was service learning? Service learning. And the idea is that you could you could try to choose a teacher, and if they accepted you, you could go to them. But if not, you just kind of get assigned to whoever. Yeah. Uh, but your your class period, you would leave the school, assuming the teacher that you were service learning with uh, wasn't at the high school, and most of them weren't. Uh, and then you would go to one of the other schools within the district and just help a teacher for your class period and then go back. And the reason that this matters is because uh, I had chosen a teacher, but then something happened and I couldn't get him for one reason or another. So... They, they put me with the computer teacher because they knew that I was a fucking nerd. And uh, she was cool. Um, she was also very attractive, I'm not going to lie. I, I, <laughs> I, I had a big old crush on her. Yeah, dude. But uh, the reason I bring it up is because the first they had me with her for two semesters. But the first semester that they put me with her, they like weren't paying attention. And it was their her lunchtime. So when I got to the middle school, they were like, uh, well, like she's on lunch, so I guess you can just go to the lunchroom. And that happened to be the same hour that my brother was on lunch because he was in the sixth grade when I was in the senior in high school. Yeah. So I would just go every day and basically have like an hour and a half lunch because the first half of it was going to my to the middle school and just hanging out with like my brother and his younger friends. Hell yeah. Like during lunch. <laughs> And I'm trying to remember now why I even brought this up, but I just do remember it being, uh, oh man, what was it? What were we talking about prior? Because I'm like blanking really hard. Uh, we were talking about how the score in the game looked like your grades in high school. No, before that. Before that, uh, Connor O'Malley, the sour candy. I don't know. I don't know. It don't even matter. I yeah. I, I had I had a, I had a reason because there was a story there and I totally blanked on it. So that was great. This is fuck this playthrough. Fuck these credits. Fuck, fuck. everything. We're leaving. Fuck it. We're leaving. We beat the game. Don't don't beat don't beat the game. We, we, bye.